This is Awkward Occurrence or Awkward Entertainment. So we're going to be reviewing Anthony Padilla's reality shifting video. I mean, it was released today. He interviewed three YouTubers. One would be our Lucid Dreamer. The other two would be quote unquote reality shifters, two females. On um, the video, the video, I saw some good spots. Most of it was so so whatever, like whatever. But um, we're going to get into this uh, review. We're going to start with a video from Inception, the movie Inception. And then we're going to get into some comments from under that video. So that's how I'm going to review this. This is how I'm going to review his interview he did with Reality Shifters. I'm going to use the comments. All right, let's get started. Never recreate places from your memory. Always imagine new places. Well, you gotta draw from stuff you know, right? Only use details, uh, a, a street lamp or a phone booth, never entire areas. Why not? Because building a dream from your memory is the easiest way to lose your grasp on what's real and what is a dream. Is that what happened to you? This has nothing to do with me, you understand? Is that why you need me to build your dreams? Get off of me. Back up. Hey, back up! Ah! And that was Inception. That's one of my favorite parts of the movie since forever. As you notice in that clip, they're inside his dream. And his dream turns on a girl. Now, a lot of reality shifters, if you've done any research, any reading on Amino or Reddick or whatever, you will see people who proclaim to reality shift or to practice it, they have nightmares. And in these, in these nightmares... People are chasing after them, trying to hurt them, so on and so on. So, that video is very relatable to what reality shifters experience when they listen to subliminals, when they self-hypnotize themselves, when they start doing enchantments, um, chanting, and so on. Let's start with this first comment. Okay. I love this comment. This is one of my favorite comments from under the video. I'm very disappointed that no one brought up the physical dangers that would be of reality shifting. If your brain chemistry is different, trying this kind of thing can have a detrimental effect. Personally, I now experience visual and audio hallucinations. So yes, you are hurting people by exposing a minority to something that they will have to experience for the rest of their lifetime. So she's talking about psychosis, schizophrenia. She suffers from hallucinations, visual, hearing stuff. She probably smells stuff. This all comes from her practicing reality shifting. It comes from listening to mantras, which are subliminals. It comes from doing self-hypnosis. I'm um, being of the delusion that you have superpowers and you can create realities and you can shift realities while you're sleeping. Let's continue. Awake methods don't work. Awake methods will, will make the schizophrenia come on quicker. <laughs> Let's continue. She continues to experience visual and audio hallucinations. Even though she's not practicing shifting anymore, she continues to experience it. She continues to have um, a spiritual illness, what she sees and hears stuff. And most of the stuff has to be demonic, monsters, fairies, so on and so on. And fairies don't have to be pretty little creatures. Fairies can be ugly looking gomes. Let's continue. I'm very glad that Anthony wasn't afraid to challenge that one girl. She seemed rather gatekeepy and contradicted herself a few times. I'm glad to get a range of opinions, but we need to keep things positive when possible. That was the favorite. That was my favorite part of this video. When well, uh, Mr. Padella, this girl right here, this is this. That's the same girl who stumbled. She stumbled, fumbled. Over her own logic, over her own logic, she stumbled, fumbled. Well, 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 I say she contradicted herself. I would say she stumbled and fumbled. She kind of did contradict herself at one point in the video. 
when she was talking about um, somebody waking up in a different reality in Turkey and like how that was fake, how they were lying on TikTok about them shifting. And Mr. Padella was like, well, how can you discredit their experience if you're going to say your experience was real? But she was um, definitely stumbling and fumbling over her words. Uh, she made the shifting community look like fools, which they are fools. Um, she made it out to be the fakery it is. <laughs> just to see her face, just to see her stumble or fumble over her words, I was like, oh yes. This is the best part. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. Let's continue. <laughs> now, now, if you go to the comment section, this is all you see in the comment section. When, um, when they try to provide proof in that comment section, they throw out the CIA documents. Let's read this. People really do believe this with no fact supporting it. And no, the CIA experiment was not successful in the way people portray it. The, the CIA documents, which these kids, 13 to 17, you have some kids young as 9, 8 years old, um, talking about CIA documents, practicing shifting, losing their mind. They, they didn't read the documents. They didn't even see the documentary. They made a documentary about the gateway process, which is nothing but remote viewing. I'm pretty sure that's the same one and the same that just changed the channel, that just changed the titles. Remote viewing was the CIA attempt at using um, mediums, clairvoyants, all types of witches, all types of demon-loving people to spy on um, their enemies. They wanted to use these um, so-called mediums to appear into faraway places to see what the enemy was doing. That's what that was. That was not about shifting your reality to Hogwarts. That was not about multi-universes. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing something because I didn't read those documents because I already knew what it was about. I already know it's not possible. It's not about reality shifting. It's, it's mostly occult, ancient occult magic, demon, um, demon practices. Let's continue. The CIA documents don't prove anything. It was about um, getting an advantage over your enemy. Gaining an advantage over your enemy. That's what it was about. And they steady in that comment section talking about, well, the CIA documents is scientific proof. Well, it's proof. It's proof. No, it's not proof. It's, it's not exactly, exactly when you, exactly. It's not proof. You didn't read it, so. Hey, hey. Yeah, that experiment was not successful. Um, the, the documentary came out some years ago, before 2010. I, I believe I watched it before 2010 or around 2010. I forget what year, but it was a long time ago. A long time ago. Um, people named Daniel are against my religion. So Daniel was a lucid dreamer who Mr. Padella interviewed in the video. And um, the, the, the so-called reality shifters didn't like that because Daniel, Mr. Daniel made a lot of sense when he described what lucid dreaming is. He made a lot of sense. It kind of made the so-called reality shifters scratch their head and think, well, maybe I am lucid dreaming. Now, they won't admit in the comment section that Mr. Lucid Dreaming Daniel was correct. They won't, they won't admit it, but... That's why they're upset. That's why they're upset because Mr. Lucid Dreaming Daniel made a lot of sense. He made a lot of sense. Even though you don't need methods to lucid dream, um, the methods that you use to lucid dream only causes you to be hunted by demons, hunted by spirits. You don't need methods to lucid dream. You shouldn't even want to lucid dream. Um, lucid dreaming is something dreaming is something God made for us to have to connect with God and God sent angels as messengers to us through dreams. And the reason people were lucid in the Bible was so they can receive the message, remember the message, and so they can talk to God. Let's continue. 
And lucid dreaming, hold on. Lucid, not lucid dreaming, reality shifting isn't a religion. You will see these psychotic kids in the comment section. Some of them will say um, it's a spiritual thing. Um, it's a religious belief or it's a belief. Um, a reality shifting is not spiritual. It's not religious. You don't have a holy book. You don't have a God. It's not even real. So I'm going to leave it at that. It's not religious. It's not spiritual. Um, yes, you do get attacked by um, demons, unfamiliar spirits. You do get attacked by those. That's why you guys have nightmares. And in your nightmares, you're running from bad people. You're running from monsters. The hypnosis part of the methods. This is why you hallucinate. This is why you see creepy things. This is why you hear creepy noises. Okay? It's, it's not just your mind. It's something in your mind that's screwing with you. But you don't want to believe it because whatever in your mind also has control over your thoughts and emotions, which is why you become depressed. You haven't shifted, which is why a lot of people get confused. They don't remember who they are at some certain times of the day. It's a long list of symptoms. And them, those same symptoms are a part of what um, mental health experts call psychosis. So let's continue. This is about responding. Let me pause it. This is about responding. Somebody left a message about responding under the video. Just a reminder, you can stay there forever. She's talking about um, in your alternative reality. So in the video, they did bring up staying in your DR forever. The girl recommend you don't do that. Um, let's continue to read this comment. Yes, you can stay there forever if you want to. Shifting is not only for escaping. Some people actually have shifted forever safely. How would you know that? That's right. You, you don't know that people have shifted forever. You saying people have shifted forever would be saying people have killed themselves. They try to put this thing called clones onto respawning. So they say, well, you can shift permanently to whatever reality you want and a clone would take over. Then they say, shifting, responding is you killing yourself. It's leaving your soul from this reality and taking it to the next reality. Right. Basically, you, don't, you have a lifeless body in this reality. And you're supposed to be in your alternative reality forever. No, you actually have kids that believe both sides of the coin. They believe you can respond and leave a clone here. They believe you can die and you can um, stay in some other reality, which accounts for the suicide, the suicides that happened this past fall. So there was an increase in suicides between teenagers this past fall, and reality shifting has a lot to do with that. But but the dead kids can't tell you. <laughs> Um, they killed themselves because they believed in um, some delusional belief called reality shifting. They can't tell you that. Their parents can't tell you that because there was no sign that their child wanted to kill themselves. So, or they didn't notice. Whatever. Let's continue. Uh, it's not wrong because this reality is not the original reality. You, you see how delusional and psychotic these people have become, these kids have become. Some of them, some of these people are in their 20s. You see how delusional they have become. Just because we started here doesn't mean we have to be here and see how crazy they are. We aren't obligated to be here see how crazy they are. We all have free will and can shift to stay and any reality we want, let's continue past the craziness, the cray cray. All right. And that was it. Okay, that was it. I have other comments I probably will go over in another video. So, reality shifting is not one person will shift. Not one person has shifted. Not one person will shift. Your dreams, your little 8, 10 second dreams, lucid dreams was not you shifting. Those nightmares you had, oh yeah, you, you guys post a lot about those nightmares. Why don't you call those nightmares shifting? Some people do call their nightmares are shifted. No, those were just nightmares. You falling asleep, um, chanting to yourself, um, hypnotizing yourself, does not qualify 
does not qualify as you shifting realities. Because there's no such thing. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. All right, let me get to my memes. What does this say? Your enemy Satan is prowling like a lion, seeking whom he may devour. And so far, Satan has devoured a bunch of kids in 2020. So far, when this reality shifting thing came out, oh, a bunch of kids got devoured. And a bunch of kids still have lost their minds as we speak today. I'm surprised their parents, we don't hear these stories of the parents of reality shifters um, sending their kids to a therapist, a psychiatrist, and these kids going to a mental crazy house. We don't hear those stories. But we'll hear them crazy stories about I many shifted, I semi shifted, or is this shifting? Right. We're here to. These crazy kids on Amino talking about do a tarot reading to figure out if you're going to shift. Oh, you can channel your DR, do a seance with this app called Replica. What? what? Get some crystals. It'll help you shift. What? What? That's all demonic, occult, ancient magic crap. Like, what? I'm surprised they haven't used a Ouija board yet. Oh, my God. All right, let me get up out of here, people. Anything else I want to add to this? No, I'm just going to play out this video, and I'm in this out. Uh, this is, I'm going to play out this video, and this in it out. This has been Awkward Occurrence with Awkward Entertainment, and I will see you in the next video. Places from your memory. Always imagine new places. Well, you gotta draw from stuff you know, right? Only use details. Uh, a, a street lamp or a phone booth. Never entire areas. Why not? Because building a dream from your memory is the easiest way to lose your grasp on what's real and what is a dream. Is that what happened to you? This has nothing to do with me. You understand? Is that why you need me to build your dreams? Get off of me. Back up. Back up. Ah! Get off!